Let's have a chat, ladies and gents. Let's have a chat about lockdown hair. This video is not a solution video. This video is for entertainment only. I'm going to talk about my lockdown hair. There is no solution here. I'm not going to, I haven't got an answer for you. This video is to entertain you, to let you know I've had problems with my hair because you may have problems with yours. I'm with you. I'm going on that journey with you. I have got hair problems. I'm out in the open. I have lockdown hair. It's a year later, nine months later, I still have lockdown hair. Now I can't talk about your lockdown hair, but I can talk about my lockdown hair. And I can talk about lockdown hair that I have seen from friends and colleagues and so on and, how, and the experiences that they've had, as in they've just, their hair's just grown. They're going gray like me. Their hair just grew. They were having partners cutting their hair. They were having, um, doing their own haircuts, they were just letting it grow, they were letting a cleaner cut their hair, and they were letting, um, you know, in John's case, my husband's case, he was just going, going with one of these um, razor things and just vroom, go totally bald. <laughs> that solved the problem for about three months for him. Um, now, if you were following me years ago, you would know that actually my hair was quite a bit shorter, as many of us maybe have had shorter hair in the past than now, um, I, and I was blonde. I, because I had regular highlights, I was having highlights every six weeks. No, a haircut every six weeks and I was having highlights every 12 weeks. Um, and the highlights were to sort of tone in with the grey as the grey was starting to come through. And I kept my hair sort of shoulder length here and it was quite short at the back and sloped down. It, it had that sort of a shape to it and a bit longer at the front. Um, I also have hair that if it's not cut in a certain way, it will do strange things and it will flick out out one side and flick under the other side and do all sorts of weird things. Um, when I first started out, I used to get compliments on my channel about my hair, that it was lovely and shiny, lovely and thick, lovely style and so on. I haven't had compliments about my hair for ages. In fact, I'm actually getting the opposite. I'm getting do something with your hair. Put in a tony ponytail or something. Do something with it. Totally the opposite. So the story goes on. Uh, End of lockdown happened. Oh yes, during lockdown, I cut my own hair for a bit. And I, no, I just did a little snip. Because I had the longer bits here, they were getting a little bit out of control and straggly. So I thought what I'll do is just snip those off and even it up. You see the longer bits, I've got them, got them again now, but um, uh, even it up. Well, that kind of worked for a while. When I first had it done, I first, when I first did it myself, I actually really liked it. Then it, over the weeks and months, it became a little bit out of control, a little bit wilder, a little bit, oh my goodness, I really desperately want to hit a cut. It grew to the extent I was able then to, be used to have a ponytail, and I hadn't had a ponytail for years. I hadn't had the ponytail since I was in my 20s. So I started playing game with ponytails, and I was putting it up in a messy bun, and none of this very well, because actually I am so out of practice. 30 years ago, I was doing things like that. So I was enjoying learning, enjoying playing with scrunchies and enjoying having a bit of a go. Then I could get my hair cut again, so I did. I had my hair cut again. And a couple of times my hairdresser came over when we were freer in the summer and um, cut my hair back into style. We're not quite there, um, but she started to make inroads and make, giving me back the style I used to have. And we're growing out the grey. I'm happy with that, very happy with growing out the grey. I like growing out the grey. I'm liking the colour. I do know that I really should be using my purple shampoo a, a lot more to blend in uh, or to tone down still the highlights here. Uh, and I do have purple shampoo. And my goodness, doesn't that stuff make a mess? Doesn't it make a mess of the bathroom? You've got to be so careful with it. So I'm, I don't use it as often as perhaps I should, really. Uh, and John has a go at me. You ruined my new paintwork. Let me tell you the story here. What up with it? The thing is, my hairdresser had, um, she had a cold, couldn't come. Then we made another appointment. Then the cases all around here went up and I thought, well, actually she's going around a lot of houses. So we see my hairdresser had actually had a cold. Uh, she was going for a test. Um, I was thinking, no, I'm not going to have um, my hair cut, thank you very much, because 
if I get a cold, then I've got to go for a test as well. And it just is, it's just that because you don't know if it's cold or you, you don't know what you've caught. Um, so I, that's just a burden on everything and everyone. So I thought, no, I'll leave it another six weeks. Anyway, then we ended up going into a lockdown of some sort that meant that she couldn't come over. So I haven't seen her since. I had two haircuts in the summer and that's it. I haven't, haven't seen her since. Not by her fault or my fault, just because that's the circumstances. She now no longer can cut hair at the moment. Um, so I went through a stage where I tried a shampoo because actually it had been sent to me. It had been sent to me and I thought, oh, well, I'll give this a go. And it was a shampoo that was actually for uh, thickening hair. Now, the last thing I need is really is shampoo for thickening hair. But I thought, I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll try it, see, see what, it, what it's like. Well, I actually ended up getting an extra day's wash out of using this. So instead of two, day, two, two days in between the washes, I actually got three days in between washes, but also I got drier hair. Fuller, it looked fuller for sure, but drier. It hasn't held a normal shine and buoyancy. It's dry, frizzy today. So because now I just look old and like a witch. Look at this, awful. And as you know, well, as you can see, I had problems. So I tried styling it like Nicole Kidman, you know, or messy, messy, you know, and just uh, using a, a hair straightener and putting a wave in. But because it was dry, it just went frizzy. So I tried curling it this morning, ringlet curls, and this side it took all right a little bit, and this side it's just... Ugh. So I didn't get a nice curl. So then I used... Um, a product for 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 anti frizz, and um, I this worked. I actually did get anti frizz. Not done anything with it. I've just brushed it, left it to dry after washing it. So this stuff is definitely, definitely the um, is definitely taking because it's this uh, it's this size that nor no, it's this side that's normally very very frizzy and I have difficulty with, and it's um, yeah I think it's all quite sleek, so it's kind of working. It this did. Yes, it really got rid of that frizz. It worked, but it, my hair, I don't think really straight hair without layers. And at the moment I don't have layers. The hairdresser hadn't got as far as putting the layers back in where I needed them. Um, Cause she needed, we needed it for it to grow again. So then the, I could have long layers and we hadn't got that far. So straightening the hair was just a flat vumph. Um, so I tried using curling uh, irons or a, a hair straightener and winding the hair around it and curling it again. Uh, for me, I'm a natural personality with the anti-frizz stuff in my hair. So I was actually getting a fuller hair and a sleeker hair, a softer effect. I actually didn't mind this. I just put a bit of a curl in it, you know, with a curling tongs. Um, and, but there, um, you know, it could, can look messy. I agree, it can look messy, but I quite like a mess. I like being really casual, look, you know, as long as it, it looks quite, quite nice, but um, I haven't made any effort, you know, effect. But for others who might be a classic personality or, um, you know, that appearance might irritate. So where am I at now? I still do like doing this. I still do like doing the winding it around, but I'm trying to do it a little bit less. Um, my, I, my magic product currently is one I bought and I will just show you what my current magic product is for my hair. Anyway, my magic product, the magic product that I'm currently using that's solving the problem for me and toning down any frizz I might have on this side here, uh, is this. John Frieda Frizzies Drugstore. Cheap as chips. So I'm just squirting a little bit of this on here. And that's what I did when I washed my hair yesterday. I just squirted a little bit in my hand, rubbed it in around there, and I've got the right sleek. This is not too straight and flat. It's not wild and dry. And I've got the right, I think I've got the right body, the right shape for the moment until I can have a haircut again. And I think as things are going, it's gonna be about three months before I have a haircut. So I think you're gonna be seeing a lot more of me with longer hair. A few more ponytails because I'm going to be getting back into, well, I've got a lookbook coming out or oh, there's been a lookbook. You'll see in lookbooks I'm wearing ponytails more now um, because my hair's long again now to be able to wear ponytails and do things like that. But 
Um, yeah, this is just my hair journey. There's no answer here. Well, this might be an answer. But other than that, no, this is not an answer where I'm giving you advice. This is not a video where I'm giving you advice. I'm telling you my hair journey. And that's it. Entertainment value. So I will see you all in another video. And uh, I hope that my hair journey has helped you with your hair journey and not solved your problems, but maybe commiserated with you a little bit.